Hey guys, what's up? It's Emergency and welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, before I start off this video, I want to give a huge thanks to all of you for supporting my college decision reaction video. That video blew up so much and so fast and there are so many positive and supportive comments so I just wanted to personally thank all of you. Also, since my last video, we are not only at 200, no. 250? Nah. 300 subscribers. 300 of you guys are now subscribed to this channel and that is crazy. So to all the new people watching, hi, what's up, I'm Emergency, and thank you for subscribing to the channel. I don't really have any ideas for what I do for like a subscriber special, so if you have any ideas of what I could do, leave that down in the comments below because I'd love to hear what you have to say. But anyways, let's get into the topic of this video. College. So as I've said, most of you have seen my college decision video. It was definitely an experience. I did not expect that outcome at all. But with that being said, I could not be more grateful because for one, it makes the task of choosing a school that much easier. And two, I've got to meet so many of you guys who have gone through the same experience. For those of you who haven't seen the video, I suggest you watch it, but I'll give you like the cliff notes right now. I applied to nine schools and basically out of those nine, I got into three. Technically three and a half, you're counting BU's guaranteed transfer for 2019, but like three solid schools for this fall. So my options were Chapman University, Whitman College, and George Washington University. I'm gonna take you through my thought process when I was going through the pros and cons of each school to decide which one I actually wanted to attend. So my first option was Chapman. Chapman was great. It was in Southern California, right next to Disneyland. There's a new science building that'll be finished the year I matriculate. They're the perfect size school, not being too big or too small. You could bring your car to campus your first year, and they also gave me a ton of money to attend. Sounds perfect, right? Well, kind of is. <laughs> the only downsides of Chapman for me was that the campus seemed kind of small. It was like kind of like your typical suburban campus. Um, kind of like looking for something a little bit more. And I got the feel from having students be able to have your car your first year that it was a little bit commuter and that the campus would be kind of dead during the weekends. I don't know this for sure. I didn't actually get the chance to visit while school was in session, but that's just the vibe I got. Next was GW. GW's campus was in the middle of the city. Again, it has an amazing science and technology building. Oh my God, that thing is so beautiful. It's definitely the largest of my three choices, but it's not a big school. But GW also has a ton of internships and it prides itself on being one of the best schools for internships, so there's that. They also have two campuses. They have the Mount Vernon and the Foggy Bottom campus. The Mount Vernon campus is more suburban while Foggy Bottom is like the typical urban experience. My favorite part about the school, honestly, this is gonna sound super, super, super super basic but like their dining plan you could use your ID to pay for food in real restaurants in real grocery stores around the campus and it's not just like GW grocery store or like GW bakery it's like Whole Foods some of the things I was kind of concerned about GW was that one they didn't give me a lot of money also I plan on being a biology major I don't know about you but when I first think about GW I think of like poli sci IR basically not biology. So I was kind of concerned whether GW would be best for me being a biology major, but after talking to a bunch of reps and visiting campus, I can tell you that I'll be good. Last school I was considering was Whitman College. That is in Washington State. Some good things about Whitman are that it's local, so it'd be cheaper. They have a really good biology program. Their campus is beautiful. It's like really outdoorsy themed, and they have a really large alumni network in the state of Washington. Some of the downsides are that it is outdoorsy. I'm not really an outdoorsy person. <laughs> it's kind of a rural campus. It's not really by anything. It's like Whitman is like the center of attraction in the city of Walla Walla. And the school's student population was the smallest of the three schools I was considering. So now that I took you through my thought process, it's time for you to find out which school I'll be attending in the fall of 2018. I'm gonna give you a few seconds right now to make your guesses on which school I chose before I actually like roll the film. Don't you dare skip around in this video. Enjoy the experience. And now it's the moment you all have been waiting for. I'm going to reveal which school I'll be attending in the fall of 2018 in three, two, one.
That's right, I've officially decided that I'm going to be a part of George Washington University's class of 2022. You have no idea how excited I've been to tell you this. I must have known subconsciously that I really wanted to go to GW, because for one, fun fact, GW was the first school that I actually toured, and two, out of all the colleges I wrote about in my college survival book, if you want to know more about that, let me know. GW was the one I wrote most for, and was the college I was most passionate about explaining when someone would ask me about it. But I knew for sure that I wanted to go to GW when I went to their admitted students event last weekend. That just really opened my eyes to the opportunities that the school offers, and basically telling me all the reasons I should go. So yeah, next year, I'm going to GW. If you currently go to GW, or if you're going to be in the GW class of 2022, let me know. Don't be afraid to say hi. I need to make some new friends. And yeah, that's my decision. But other than that, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Also turn on my post notifications so you don't miss an upload. And follow me on Twitter at Emergency with two Y's. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Emergency, and I'll see you guys next time.